hello uh, let's have a look that if we are having uh, some geocoded data and if we want to validate that whether data is correct or not then uh, we can use this google map for the validation and in this case i have a sheet and i have latitude and longitude before we work uh, so we must validate whether these coordinates are correct or not there are two ways one you can use this application which i'm sharing another you can create your own application so the first if you are working with this application what you do you open it here like this you can open the health facilities and the health facilities are synchronized with the uh, sheet like the serial number and the LGA started from A. So the first is this LGA and here the delivery point is this and let long is this here. I have taken these let long but I want to check whether this is correct or not. You open the uh, map application, then when you will click this, you will find that this is the first one. In most of the cases, in if the name is correct, then the Google has its own data base, which will help us to validate whether this is correct or not so exactly you have to be very vigilant that you are choosing the correct health center so here this is the health center mind it the names may be double also okay in another history so if you are taking another data you are just disturbing the data your database so be, be sure that uh, the, 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 the suggested health center by, I, I mean, uh, by the Google map uh, belongs to this ward and this LG. Okay. So once you are sure about the health center given by the Google, so you have to make this active. At, at this point now you are active okay here you are here you are active with one but you have first you be sure that you are active here when you are active here then you check the url in the url you will find that this is uh, the base part and this is the map id MID up to here equal to this is the latitude and this is the longitude here after C. Okay, so what I will do, I will take this latitude here and I will give it here and here this is the longitude. When you copy and paste, be sure that you are taking the correct data. Otherwise, you know, the data will be so confusing and it will not work. Uh, it will not yield or it will not give you the correct results. So be sure that uh, whatever you are choosing, in case suppose if I am taking the second one here, if I look at this, so let me let me clear there is a gap okay as per the given excel sheet the location is here but there is no health facility okay, there is no health facility you can look at uh, another data maybe this the satellite data there is no health facility here but 
if you will see the data suggested by Google here, then where is here it is okay, this one. Then you can see that here this is here it is. Be sure, okay. Once you are sure, then you take your data to your sheet and you just make another uh, let it do not change here okay you make another column then you will make the another column your data will be uh, errorless there will be no error so this is the way you can uh, correct the geolocations using this application in case if you want to make your own application so uh, that will make you easier to edit uh, here itself no need to copy and paste this part and how we can do that let me show you when you open the google drive go to new go to the google my maps and you can create a new map give the name Lagos Health Facilities, save it, and this is the data here. You can import your CSV. It's easy. You can open your CSV, and then it will automatically uh, catches the latitude and longitude. If it is not catching, then you can give it here and give it here like latitude, okay? latitude and longitude. Continue. Then, if you're asking that what should be the title of the marker, you can give the title the name of it. Yes. Then just make it publish. And then you will find uh, without any label the the health facilities. Then what uh, you can do is you can click here uniform style. Then you can style by data column the sequence of number. Sequence of number. So these are the sequence which is being taken from the CSV. This is the sequence. Okay? And you can categorize also if you are interested to know based on the LGA. So each LGA will have a unique color. And sometimes you know some data you will find that here so the you see this one there is a different color. The different color shows that here this is Ojo, this is Ojo. But uh, when you will take the J file, I think this is not Ojo. Ojo is here crossing crossing this way. This part. So this way you can identify some wrong uh, LGs also. But here I'm not going to be focused that how you can correct the data. Uh, so for that you do one thing. You can you can you can sequence by number. Why sequence? Sequencing will help you to edit your work one by one in an order. The correction will be higher here. So you can look at this the first one. Where is this? Is the first one? The pop up is here for the first one. LGA is this. This is here the word name. And then when you will look at this word, you look at this data. This blue color is your, your database. You have to focus on this gray color. So this is Google data. Google says that the location is here, but your location is here. So what you can do is, if this map is yours with your ID, with your account, then you can add it also. You can take this, the point here. Just click this point. Okay. And you can take 
So when you are moving, this latitude longitude will automatically change. From here, you look 363, but here it will be changed. So once it is changed, you can it automatically save. And when you have done everything correct, you have seen each and every point is correct located. Then what you can do, you can click here, layer option. You can export your data as CSV or KML, or you can open the table also. Shows that this data is incorrect. So why? Because uh, this location is not there at the land area, maybe at the ocean. That's why it says that it's a, it is not. So, a open data table here, like 6.3 and uh, 6.32 6.3 lies at the ocean land does not start here so this is the wrong data which you can get so this is the second method you can use but uh, if you are using my app then you can do by here like you can copy this to your csv so this is the way you can edit your data and once you are sure that you are uh, working with correct data then because this is uh, if the location is here it will impact another locations also but then you will make the the the, the, the catchment area so the catchment area will take this location in respect of in relation with another location it is very important to have the correct data of each and every location. So this was all about the how we can correct the location. And thank you so much for watching this video. If any problem, then you can write to me. Thank you so much.